What's going on? What's going on, people? Hey, this is uh, VDAP. I'm excited um, to let y'all know that I finally got uh, a set of um, Babyliss um, trimmers. Uh, this this, this trimmer is supposed to be the, the top of the trimmers out there in the market, uh, which is today. So I just got it. It came in. Um, Came in, actually came in yesterday, but I opened the box, but I didn't open the package. So, uh, it's kind of half and half, Sasha. I, I was going to wait to um, do a live video and, and open it up and see what's all in it. So, this is the box. Let me see it. So, I'm going to see what's in it. Let's see what we got here. This is a box. This is where it came in. You gotta protect it. Y'all can see that. Okay. Babyliss Pro Exposed T360 Trimmer. Uh, actually, the box looked pretty doggone good. Got like okay, got some on the back of this. I don't know if you can see it or not. It tell you about the guard, about the about the uh, trimmer. That's all it, it does. Cords I can use cord or cordless in there. They have a uh, hanging hook I can hang it with the trimmer with. Uh, it's an all metal housing. It's good. Three sixty exposed T blade. Okay. Titanium uh, 2.0 millimeters deep tooth T blade, zero gap included. This is the thing. Um, it's a lot I'm gonna get into being with. Let's, let's see. Let's see what we what what this uh, Babyliss Pro look like inside. I'm taking it off. Put this over here. Okay. So let's see what it look like. Okay. That's what it look like. I I was I was um online and uh, I was looking at these trimmers and and I, I had it in my inbox and so before I got rid of the place or order it was gone just that quick. So these trimmers are hot on the market now. And if you want to set, you have to go ahead and bite the bullet and just invest in them. And so uh, I invested in, in these, and uh, they came yesterday, and I'm very pleased. I haven't used them yet, but I'm excited to uh, to use them. Um, I can tell how to blade it on it. I guess they have your exposed blade. I guess these two knobs, just two, two things beside is that you can adjust it, the blade, I'm, I'm assuming. And have your regular, have your regular um, screw blade, screw uh, driver um, head in here. I'm not my bad. Um, your screw head in here. So yeah, this, this, this. Let me see what's in the box. Got to be some guards somewhere. Which they say they had guards. And stuff. I guess you, you can plug it in. And plug it in like that. And I guess I had I have to have a complete chart before I even use, so I was probably have it charging up before I give it use them in the in the shop. Alright, you got your battery, you have your your cable. And this, let me see what I have. Yeah. There's some more stuff in here. Yeah, stuff out. Okay. Have my 
just tell you about the, the trimmer within itself. Just have a warranty thing here and all that. Um, Babylon's Pro is like a sticker. They sent to me. All right, and these are. I guess you have your guard. Would you not use them? Guard placed on that. Or your brush to get the hair off over there. And I gotta figure out what this is. This is something different. Hmm. I don't know what this is, but anyway, we have, I'll figure it out and see. Okay, this is like a mini screw. Let me see. Okay, 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 okay. So let's take this off. So I'm assuming, people, when you you set the zero gap, I guess this this little piece fits inside that right there. Okay, and that make it, and you can adjust it up and down. Okay, neat. Instead of taking a whole blade off of, it's just it's like a little alley wrench that you can screw inside this little hole with a screw head. And you can adjust it. That's cool. Because I know all my Andy's, Andy's trimmers and all that, you have to set the, take the whole blade off just to get a zero gap. And you had to keep, keep, you know what I mean? I'm old school, so I had to keep dealing, fooling with it, fooling with it, messing with it, messing with it until I get it set to adjustment. Because I like to use, I use all my trimmers on adults and little children. So it takes me at least about a good 20 minutes just to get the right setting like I really want to. Because you don't want, especially little children, you don't want to, to um, I guess um, had the, the blade too sharp, too close, and it would bite them. And once you ever hurt a child within their first haircut or uh, within their haircut series, they won't they won't be right. They'd be scared of people with trimmer. So I try to adjust them according to all my all my um. It's, I use one trimmer for a different set of trimmer for my adults and my little children. The first time haircuts children, I do all that. Because I want all my blades not to pinch or either bite my clients. That's that's not good at all. But anyway, this is how that go. And I'm assuming this this screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, goes in this right here. So that's that's let's see that. They go in that. Okay. That's neat. Rose gold color. I'm gonna take this off. Let's take this off. See okay, let's see I crank this bad boy up. Okay. This girl got some power, man. Got some power. I'm excited, people. I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm gonna test them out. I'm gonna zero gap. I'm gonna go into this, mess around with it until I get my setting right on it, and um and see how they hit. Um, I have clients starting Monday, so I'm gonna see how they hit with them. But yeah, they look, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm really am happy. So. So these these bars are expensive. So I don't want this. Is, I mean, I advise anybody, any any barber to invest in them. You know, I'm the type of person. I'm I like to I'm um budget, and so I got trimmers that I spent with clippers and trimmers I had spent money on, and so you you get what you pay for. Um, and so you know, so you know, I advise anybody to, if they got funds for it, invest in, save back and invest in them. And I, I think you won't be, I, I won't know how it is till I get ready to use them, but uh, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm advising anybody to invest in some of these and, uh, you know, at least have one set, you know, and see how they cut. But uh, compared, to, compared to everybody who I talked to, I had researched, I have, uh, you know, did my study on them and all that. They said these, these are the Cadillac of all trimmers, so I'm going to see how they go. So I'm gonna put these bad boys back in the box then because I don't want to mess them up. Put that here. Let's put this over here. 
lot of stuff I can do. But yeah, I'm excited, people. I'm really, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I've been around the block for a while. I just don't, I have a full-time job, so I don't have time to really, um, put myself in the shop like I really want to. Because you're juggling two jobs, you know, it's hard. But like I said, I'm excited for these bad boys to be using. I'm so excited. So, um, I just got these bad boys in. I ordered the trimmers. So, I ordered the clippers. Never opened them. They just came in the mail today. So, I'm going to just, this is going to be my first opening. See how they have. You know, sometimes you have to treat yourself. These are the clippers. Take these bad boys out. Wow. Hey, look. I don't want to mess them up. Sure they got a man. See how you look. The fabulous Rose FX Clippers. So yeah, okay. The same is happening this way almost. They feel pretty good. It's nice. I got a nice feel to them, good metal casing, rose metal. Let's, take, let's, let's see what they got inside this box. So here. That's your oil. Get a little screwdriver. Get a brush. Got your cord. Oh, boy, I got an extra one of these. That's just cool. This way, I guess this is where the you can put the blade on. If you, I guess you, if you break them, whatever, you can put replace this with this. I don't know. It's just, I'll pick it out. All right. These are your these are your guards attachments. Put all this right back in here. All right. 
Let's see how these bad boys are. This, this, I haven't charged them up yet, but. Okay. Yeah. I love them. Adjustment. I can open and close. Okay. The rum is just about the same. Okay. These ain't zero gap, so I don't know if I'm gonna zero gap these or not. You got your your fade, and it's not the fade blade, but I guess it's your you use it for fading purposes or whatever. You got a little click. Right. So I'm excited, people. So I, I invest in these things, and like I said, you're going to pay money for them, but you know what? They're worth it. I think, to me, they're worth it. You know, I have, like, walls. I have uh, Andes. Uh, most of my clippers are walls in Andes. And, uh, but, 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 uh, I think I went online, um, YouTube. I've been back. It's been a while since I've been back on my channel, about eight months ago. And I came across some clipper called Sucker. Uh, Sucker, S-U-R-K-E-R. Or S U R K U R. They made out of Japan. I was very, very surprised. I mean, I think I bought those those clippers off. Um, I think it was Amazon. I think I paid at the time. It was uh, twenty five or thirty dollars for them. But I bought two sets. I bought uh, they all with the luminous um, casing. I bought a silver pair and a gold pair. And those, y'all, I use those trimmers. Those are my go to clippers. Those things, I was very, very surprised because, you know, you know, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, but those clippers, those things, they good, man. I mean, I, I can run, I can use them the whole day, um, just switching them out here and there. But I got two pairs, so I switched both of them out as we, you know, you know have one of them be resting the other one. I got used the other one for cutting, so I kind of switch them, switch them out back and forth through the day. But that lasted me the whole day, and I'm very surprised. I mean, I I love those, I love those uh, clippers. They are very light. They got the attachment to them, and um, yeah. But just check me out on my on my YouTube. I think it was about eight months ago. I I got them, and I had to change had to change the blade um, uh, to a wall blade to get them to cut like I really want to. But once I got them adjusting the cut, man, those things they hit. So you know. Um, Look, you know, look, go back and look at my page, and uh, you know, hit a hit a like um, uh, button on it, describe me, you know what I mean. So I'm just I'm new to the channel, so I I don't have a lot of followers, so I'm trying to get my head in the door. You now I see some people got the sixteen thousand followers and all that, man. You know, I, I just started up, so just to give your boy a chance, okay. But y'all see on the video that uh, I did demonstration on a couple of clients of mine, so I'm very pleased. So I guess I'm very pleased with these right here, very pleased. Very, very pleased. But I got something to tell y'all. You know, remember I was saying we you get what you pay for? So, you know, a lot of uh a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook see a lot of um replica of of these type of clippers, trimmers, I mean. A lot of them out there. And so I ordered some. I think I paid thirty some thirty eight dollars for these trimmers, and you know, I'm the type of person. You know, I I should listen to my instinct, but I didn't do it. I said, well, I got a, the first pair of clippers. They was good, but these y'all, these are they're supposed to be replica of the Babbles. And I tell you what, <clears throat> I called the company. I couldn't get. I could not get them adjusted. Uh, zero gap. And this is how they look. Similar to these, but not quite. Do a comparison. Let me see it. And I reached out to the company who I who I bought them from, ordered them from. They told me that 
They were sorry about the, the ad. Some of the ad was being misleading to people and all that. I guess they had some complaints on it. But so they told me it'll be cheaper. Just I, they just you know pay me a ten percent from what I paid for them. <laughs> it'd be more expensive for me to ship them to China to China for my shipping cost than what the, the the trim itself. So I I got a friend in Florida who's gonna help me out. She says she's gonna uh, try to do something with them. So I got two of these trims, the two two of these trimmers, and I tell you what, man, I I I don't know. I mean, I don't know what she's gonna do to them. I don't know if she can put a she can put an anti blade on it to make them cut. I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it to her. I I don't have time for it, but but y'all just be careful on these right here. These trimmers right here, they are not what they say they are, and you know you you want to get them that the blade that they can be adjusted to zero gap because that's where you get your fine line, your defined tape line. These cannot be zero gap. In order for these to be zero gap, you probably chain the whole blade out and for they can do right. And this is this side compared to these. So, so, I don't know. I'm going to leave it here. I'm gonna probably shipping to her probably tomorrow or Monday. And I don't call her. And I told her, look, see what you can do with them. So, just beware. Be sure you know what you're getting when you order these, okay? Um, I'm finna get a head on out. Um, I just want to shoot this quick video. And y'all, uh, like I said, hit, 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 hit to me a like like button and describe me on um you know look, look, look up for a boy um so you know and you know go for that and you know y'all be blessed out there uh this is vita out coming from t-town georgia and uh y'all have a happy um uh, actually it's halloween have a happy halloween be safe out there and um and be blessed okay peace out